Hello friends, today we are going to know about CS card product badges. With the help of this add-on, an admin can attach custom badges or labels to their products. Vendor is also allowed to add the available badges to their product. And this way, badges can be used to emphasize and promote the products in a very effective manner. For the online demonstration regarding the product, you can go to our webcool store and click on this demo button. And for the documentation regarding the same, please go through the user guide manual provided at the store. Let us now proceed towards the installation part of this add-on. This is my admin panel. Go to add-ons tab and click on manage add-ons. Now click on this plus button to upload and install a new add-on and click on local and browse the zip file for product badges add-on compatible for your CS card version and click on this upload and install. Once the add-on is installed, you need to configure the settings of this add-on. Here you can see the product badges add-on. To manage the settings, go to this drop-down and click on settings. Here you can view, we have provided an option to hide the default discount label. If you check this box, then you can hide the default label of your CS card and click on this save button to get the functionality. Let us now see how the badges can be attached to the products. For that, you need to go to the products tab and click on this product badges. Here you will be able to view the list of badges created by you only. And if you have not created yet, there will be no badge present for the products to be attached. To add a new product badge, you need to click on this plus button. Let us give a name of the badge to be on sale. Here you need to set the priority of the badge. Obviously, higher priority will get the preference over the lower priority. Let us enter the priority to be 1. If there are similar priority badges, then the priority will be assigned in such a way that this new newly created badge will get a lower priority. Here you need to set the status of this badge. Here you can select the position from these positions for your badge where you need to place this badge on your product image. Here you need to select where you want to show this product badge. If you want to show everywhere on your panel, then you can select everywhere. If you want to just show the badge on just product list page, you can select it over here. And for the product detail page, you can select it from here. And if you want to stop other badges, if this badge is assigned, then you can stop it by checking this box. Coming to the next setting, which is apply time period. If you want to apply the badge automatically within or for a particular time period you can enable it from here and enter the time period for the availability of your badge once it is done coming to the next field which is badge type we have provided two options for your badge type either you can add a image type badge or a text type badge let us consider the image type badge and if you are adding an image type badge, there will be a different settings for image. And if you select the text type badge, then accordingly, there will be different settings for the text badge. Let us create this badge by clicking on this create button. Once you click on this create button, it will open up the settings. For the image type badge, here you can view that you need to upload the badge image from here. And here are a few settings have been provided. The first one is image size. You can set the size of the image in pixels over here. Here you will be able to adjust the opacity of the image. The next field is provided to set the margin from top to bottom. 
and here you can set the margin from left right and this badge preview part is available at the admin backend just to make or have a look or feel of this badge on the front end he need not to go to the front end to have a feel of this badge that how this badge will look like on the product image and if you select the badge type to be text and click on this text button then the settings will be different as per your badge type chosen here you can view you need to enter the text for your badge let us enter sale here you will be able to preview the badge text next is to adjust the font size you can adjust the font size as per your desire again you can customize the text best accordingly as per your needs the next field is provided to choose the text color and the further you can choose the background color here you can see that background has been set for this text badge coming to the next field which is opacity here you can adjust the opacity of your product badge border radius if you want to give a radius like this you can adjust the radius in pixels from here here you can add the paddings from top to bottom here you can add the paddings from left to right like this this will previewed like this only coming to the next part which is the margin for top to bottom this will set the margin for your top to bottom and for left margin you can add it from here this is how your label or your badge will look like on your product image at your storefront once it is done you can click on this save button product badge which have been created will get listed over here let us now see how these listed badges can be assigned to a product at vendor end for that you need to go to the products tab and open up a product detail page at back end let us open this product click on this add-ons tab here you will be able to view the product badge add-on settings have been provided for which you need to select the badges if you click on this the available list of badges will be listed out here and you need to select the badges from here if you select this badge will get added to this particular product and this is how an admin can add badges to the product and click on this save button to preview this on the front end let me show you how this product will look like after applying these multiple badges this is how the badges will be applied to the customer sorry to the customer end at the products now let us see how a vendor can add the badges to their product in a similar way coming to the vendor panel go to products and products tab open up the product detail page of the vendor click on this add-ons tab again you will be able to view the product badge click on this box provided and select the badges from these list of badges for this particular product and click on this save button once the vendor saves this can be previewed at the front end like this this is how the product badges can be attached to the particular products at both vendor and admin end this was all about my cs card product badges if you still have any query you can enter your questions in the comment section below thank you so much for watching